Hello and welcome to Propus Gaming and Civilization V Brave New World. It's about time we jump back into another campaign, and uh, last time I did see quite a few recommendations for some civs that we should play, but I already decided upon this one, because I've never really had a good chance to play as the Netherlands, and that's who we're going to be playing as today. Netherlands, with the Dutch East India Company special ability. Let's see if I can find them real quick. Where'd they go? They're here somewhere. William. There we go. Retains 50% of happiness benefits from a luxury resource if your last copy is traded away. Which is pretty interesting because it basically encourages you to have a lot of resource diversity more than anything else. That is your goal if you are playing as the Netherlands. Get a lot of resources and happily trade away your last copy instead of getting, you know, let's say you had some citrus and you wanted to trade for cotton. Well, co uh, cotton. well what would typically happen is, you know, I trade my citrus for your cotton. Uh, but that was my last copy, so I don't gain any happiness from my citrus, and now I just gained four from cotton, and it was a total wash. No point. This way, if I trade away my last copy of citrus, I retain two, and I get the four from your cotton, and now I have six happiness from one trade, which is pretty darn good. But again, it's all about diversification, if you're going to be playing as the Netherlands. The Netherlands does have a couple of special units and uh, buildings. We have the Sea Beggar which is um, basically a better version of the Privateer. They are pretty decent at capturing ships and raiding uh, coastal cities. They are a stronger ship type, basically. Just better combat value across the board. So, pretty good. Not bad. You do want to dominate the seas as the, uh, the Dutch, if you can. And then we have the Polder. Now, the Polder we'll probably see a little bit more later, but it only works on a marsh or uh, floodplains, and it will give you extra food, like three food, for one tile improvement, which is really good by itself. But once you research economics, it also gives you one production and two gold. So this one building tile improvement is going to be worth uh, six resource values. Three food, one hammer, and two gold. Pretty awesome. The Netherlands can be really powerful if they're in the right situation. We're going to see if we can make that happen today. Now, I did uh, try a campaign with the Netherlands not so long ago. Uh, before this one, I was... Attempting to record an immortal campaign, and it was disastrous. So I've scrapped that. We're going to go back to our immortal. I'm not sure I'm quite ready for immortal difficulty yet. Or at the very least, uh, I need to kind of continually save and reload based on how things work out. And I don't really have the option of doing that if I'm recording a series. I'm not quite that good. So we'll stick with Emperor for now. Just very hard difficulty. We'll be fine. Six players. We're going to play on an archipelago uh, map type which is, I don't think we've done on this channel yet, but basically it's a lot of tiny islands is what the world is going to consist of. So there's a lot of ocean, pretty confident we're going to have a coastal city, and uh, it ends up having some pretty interesting city placement and just uh, overall style, like borders cease to become more of a thing. You kind of place cities pretty much wherever you feel like you need to. So it's interesting, we're going to go with it. We'll play on a standard game speed, and let's begin. All right, so let's see where we started off. Uh, okay, interesting. So it looks like we're a little bit far north, because I see some tundra right off the bat. We are on a hill with a river, always pretty good. Coastal with cows and spices. Hmm. It's not a stellar start, as far as I can tell, but it's not necessarily awful either. I can probably make it work. So we're going to go with it. Let's found the city. Amsterdam has been founded. Beautimus. Let's send our warrior off to explore a little bit. We found a ruin. That's good. I see more cattle. I see some deer. I see a marsh. I mean, that's kind of cool. Might be able to take advantage of that at some point. Are these floodplains? No. Unfortunately, these are just regular plains. Floodplains only will happen in desert biomes, which we are not currently on. So, oh well. All right. So, as far as our starting game, what do we want to do? Uh, I think we will go for animal husband. No. Pottery. We'll go for pottery as our starting technology, and we'll immediately start working on, uh, scout. No, I take that back. Archipelago doesn't necessarily need a scout. We probably are on a fairly small island to begin with anyway. Let's immediately start working on that monument. We'll move a little bit slower, but other civilizations, unless there's the very statistically unlikely situation where one is on the same island I am, pretty likely they won't be able to get to my island and steal any ruins, so we'll take our time with our warrior. We'll get a monument. We'll get that culture production a little bit early on. And see how well that works out for us. 
So the ruins gave us weapons, so now we have a spearman instead of a warrior. Not bad. I see some more spices. I see a lot of cattle, shockingly. I see another ruin, and I see some marble. Good. Resource diversification, I'm telling you, it's very important. Unfortunately, it's in a bad position. I would rather this was like one tile down so I could simply plop a city right in the between them and have immediate access, possibly access to the marsh as well, but marshes are really good. Like, if you want to think about the long game as the Netherlands, ooh, 60 gold, that's pretty good. Um, finding a city that's going to have several marshes is actually a pretty viable long-term strategy. It's not a bad idea at all. Hmm. So I see a lot of tundra. We found some warriors, uh, some barbarians. Sort of to be expected. I think we can deal with it, though. Let's get on top of the hill. Fish. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Not a lot of good settling locations. We're gonna want to stick by that marble if we found a second city. Marble, uh, extra... Re basically, every time you found a new city, if ideally, what you want to do is have at least one new luxury resource with that city. It's okay if you have copies of ones you've already gotten, and for, like, most civilizations, that's fine. You can just trade them away, but you'll need trading partners. Um, as, uh, the Netherlands, though, it's especially important that you get a new luxury resource with every city you found. Again, in an ideal world. It's not necessarily game-breaking, but, you know, you would like that, if you can. Let's go for the animal husbandry. By the time that that is finished researching, we can get a worker and, uh, make use of the cattle, which is good. Next turn. I see more spices down to the south, and the islands have broken up, but there is sheep. Now, of course, borders will continue to expand and envelop some of the neighboring uh, islands if they're close enough. So, you know, we might be able to take advantage of that. Put a like, city right here, for example. There'll be spices, spices, marble, sheep, bison, all within range. Even cattle as well, I think. One, two, three. Yeah, that's a pretty good location for a city right here. And fish. Not bad. Not bad at all. We might want to take that. Probably will, in fact. But we'll see. Um, you know, we got a little bit of uh, we got a little bit more exploring to do. Let's see. As far as what we want to go for, ooh, good question. What do we want to go for? Well, I would say that liberty is not that useful in an archipelago map type, and the reason for that is you need a few technologies research before you can actually explore enough to find enough um, locations to settle. There's a bit more of a delay. Rushing out of city isn't necessarily as good on an archipelago map type. That said, on our starting island, we found a really solid starting location for another city, which is surprising. So we're gonna go for it. Usually I do tradition, but let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and shake things up. Let's do liberty. We'll get plus one culture in every city. Not as good as tradition, perhaps, but it'll work. And eventually we could get a great person also unlocks the pyramids. Cool. So we'll start rushing out another city, another settler, as quickly as we can. Barbarians are starting to explore a little bit. We'll probably want to clear them out before they become too much of a threat. Uh, let's see if there's anything else on this island. We found some more spices because the borders moved out. So there's a lot of spices on this island, which is okay. Not a bad thing. Let's get archery in case I want to get some uh, military units. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, this island is surprisingly large. I'm actually kind of shocked. It's almost like a mini continent. Wow, more spices and some grain. And fish. And a choke point, where if we place a city right here, we basically have a canal. That's kind of fun. Oh, ruins and salt. Hey, good. Another uh, luxury resource that we could take advantage of. And salt is a very good one. Oh, cool. More population for Amsterdam. I like that. This is a much better start than I had when I was playing um, my immortal attempt at a campaign. Gosh, it went so badly. Well, okay, not so badly. It was just a weird game. I could not catch up. I ended up getting uh, stuck next to a civilization who wasn't aggressive, per se. But, boy, was he growing so fast. He choked up my entire continent, and there was no room to expand. Ugh. Immortal is tough. Maybe someday I'll be able to pull it off, but today is not that day. Alright. Let's go ahead and get calendar. Work toward the plantations we'll need for spices. Uh, we'll... Whoop, okay, hi. Um, we'll just move over a little bit. We don't really want to get engaged in any of these fights any sooner than we have to. Let's get ourselves a uh, paddock or whatever it is we're trying to build. And Amsterdam will build a shrine, so we might be able to take advantage of faith 
get a Pantheon. There's going to be a lot of plantations here. Goodness, one, two, three, four, five spices that we know of right off the bat. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's going to be an interesting game. Oh, good. More ruins. Can't reach them yet, but at least I know where they are. And it appears that that is the extent of my island. See, it's a good thing we didn't get a scout. There was really no need for it. So let's go ahead and send our spearmen uh, up to intercept these barbarian brutes. Make sure they don't interfere with our worker. We'll probably want to clear this camp out so that we are safer to uh, move our settler. And escort them properly. World's busiest people? Mm, doesn't really mean much at this stage of the game. Uh, hmm, okay. Continue to move up. We'll ignore these guys for now. They're not much of a threat. So we are going to want to rush sailing and some other form of technology that would allow us to explore the seas. Oh, we found an archer, did we? Okay, you're actually able to steal my worker already, so let's go ahead and back up and do nothing and make sure we don't lose anything. Yep, okay. We are already under assault. A uh, little less than optimal. We can safely move the worker out now to continue working on the pasture. The Barbarian can't move quite fast enough because our Spearmen are blocking them. Costing them double move points. The Shrine is done. Good. Calendar is done. Good. Um, well, let me think. Can you kill? You can kill the Archers. Not quite yet. Okay, interesting. Well, let's go ahead and kill it off then. Perfect. Uh, Granary? Shh. Archer. We're going to go for an Archer instead. And Sailing. So we'll be able to do some level of exploration and take advantage of the sea because that is going to be such a critical feature of this particular game. Let's attack these uh, barbarians. Let's go ahead and build a farm exactly where they suggest. Why not? No particular reason not to. And we'll kill off those barbarians and let you heal. I'm going to go for... Most of this is open terrain, honestly. So we're going to go for, uh, I think, shock. Should be fine. And let's park our spearmen in a good choke point to make sure that no barbarians can sneak up and steal our worker, because that would be disastrous. Somebody's already entered the classical era. That was pretty quick. A little less than fortunate for me. Uh, let's get our archer over here to deal with the oogles and oddles of barbarian brutes that are appearing here. Granary seems okay. Unfortunately, we don't have any grain or anything else. Bananas, perhaps, to make use of said granary, but... It's still worth a couple of food. I'm alright with that. So we've created a pretty convincing front line with this Spearman. Let's uh, just start doing some damage to these Brutes. Like so. In the open terrain. Now he is going for my worker, isn't he? Yeah. Let's kill you off. Let's do some damage. Let's back you up. And now you're not in any risk. Uh, looks like you're trying to kill my Spearman, which I don't much appreciate. Hmm. Back you up. Move you forward. You go over here, I suppose, and start working on another farm. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our settler. We rush this out pretty quick, and if we can just find a way to escort it, we will be able to found another city very quickly right over here. Looks like there's horses down here even as well, so even better. This is a fantastic city location. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, as far as technology research, research, how about optics? That will allow for embarking. And now, getting a scout becomes rather useful to me. We'll do nothing. Should be fine. Uh, and kill off that barbarian. I will allow you to heal. And let's see if we can venture south. I don't think there will be a barbarian camp down there. Really hope not. That would kind of suck. I think we'll be okay, though. I don't think we necessarily need an escort. Okay, archers are at the ready. Let's start doing some damage to the barbarian brutes. We'll want to clear that camp out before they become a problem. And yes, okay, now we are in position. Perfect. I like this city location a lot. Three luxury resources, some strategic resources, a pretty good location as far as blocking off this uh, channel so that AIs won't be able to just come in all willy-nilly and explore. And uh, additional basic resources, sheep and bison. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'll take it. Thank you. Let's found our city. We get Rotterdam. Hello, Rotterdam. You Rotter, you. It's fine. It's not actually... Yeah, it'll be a fine name. So let's go ahead and start building some monuments and stuff like that. Uh, and ooh, let's go ahead... No, no, I don't think I can send my spearmen up there to quite take advantage of it fast enough. So we'll sit back and let the archer do all the work. 
Granary's about to be done. Good. Let's kill off the barbarians. In the meantime, we're just generating some experience, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Let's build a trireme. That'll be pretty good for some uh, coastal exploration, of which there is much to do in a um, in a, an archipelago map type. Oh, you stupid hand axes. Fine. Accuracy. Let's do some more damage. We want salt, huh? Well, good news. Salt is down here, and that's not a bad city location either. Actually, this one is even better, probably. What about here? No. Well, maybe maybe here. Hills, grain, grain, salt is within range, spices, fish, fish. River. Might be better, actually. We'll consider it. Maybe we can explore the coastline a little bit more and make sure that that's going to be a good pick, but I'm kind of thinking that could work. Uh, Pantheon. So what works well in an archipelago? Good question. Well... Is there anything, first uh, First off, anything good that goes with spices? Probably not. No, no. Quarries, no. Rivers, no. Jungles, mm, potential, but not for this particular playthrough. Plantations, yeah, there's something to be said about that. Natural wonders, city connections, camps. City connections actually aren't that hard to get if you just build harbors in this game, in this particular map type. God King is always pretty decent. I think oral tradition makes the most sense. We are probably going to have a lot of plantations. So we'll pick this up. See if we can get the extra culture generation. Should be completely fine. Let's send the spearmen down this direction. And make sure that we are able to clear out the barbarians in that area. Uh, happiness is already starting to become a problem. We're going to want to uh, take advantage of these spices probably sooner rather than later. But we'll finish up this farm. The fact that we have an additional city already is not really helping the matters. In fact, that's the cause of all of our problems. Let's do some auto-exploring with triremes. Now, of course, on an archipelago map type, um, there's a pretty good chance that barbarian encampments are going to be located on the coast. Which means the uh, ocean can be a pretty hazardous place. So you want to pay attention to all that. Let's go ahead and move toward those spices. Um, nothing to trade with. No need for work boats. Let's get a scout. And we will send scouts to go and explore and gather as many ruins as is possible before the AI can do so. Good, the barbarian encampment has been cleared, so we are good on this side of the island. Down here, though. There's a classical era. We've got optics now. I think we just took damage, which means there's an archer somewhere. Right? There he is. How did you shoot over the hill? You're not supposed to be able to do that, you cheater. Well, okay. Uh, oh, right. We kind of need mining technology first before we can clear out a forest. Oversight on my part. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll park our archer in a good location to make sure no new barbarian encampments can spawn anytime soon. Good. So we're done here. Um, mm, hmm. Cover is probably going to be best for us. Let's do some damage to those archers. You can build a farm in the plains. Pretty good location next to a river. And we will send our scout down to get those ruins. You can go on alert. Thank you, sir. And we don't really need a lighthouse, but we'll want one eventually. We could, in fact, build the Great Lighthouse instead, which would be fun. I like that. All military naval units get extra movement and sight. On an archipelago map type, that's actually really solid. Let's go for it. I haven't built the Great Lighthouse in a playthrough yet on this channel. I think we'll do it. Really solid on this map type. It makes a lot of sense. So we're going to do it. Uh, you sit back and just heal for a little bit then. So let's move you this direction. Let's try not to die to barbarians. We discovered more ruins, apparently. Down here, our trireme found them. Well, that's good. I'm a fan of that, how that turned out. World's most progressive people. Well, I don't see, I don't see Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, or... Bernie Sanders on this list? Oh, sorry, wait. It's election season in the United States, can you tell? By my weary eyes and disgust for politician figures? Yeah. Alright, um, let's see what we've got down here. Classical era, don't care. Let's grab this ruin and then we'll call the video here. And, uh, that should be sufficient, I think. We'll heal our trireme, grab that. Good, 60 faith, that's pretty good. Pretty good, that'll definitely increase the, um... The uh, timetable for when we're going to be able to found our own religion. 
of which I'm not really sure what we'd want to found or what advantages we'd want to get. Probably has a wide education, but I can't think of a lot else, but, you know, we'll see. There are options. There are a lot of options, and we will make use of them. That'll be enough for this video, though. I hope you're looking forward to the rest of the series, because I know I am. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,